Hey there, YouTube. Old Van Hammer here, showing you sort of an unboxing review, however you want to put it, for the Thunder Wolf Cab. I know it's pretty late, but so I've been sort of away from the game here for a while, but I figure I'd give you a little review and um, sort of sum up where I've been with these Thunder Wolf guys over the last years. So, like I said, I picked this up well, the day it was released. Um, I've been missing with it a little bit. Uh, I've not fully painted one of the one of them yet, but I've got a good start on it. So I figured I'd let you guys see what I've got going and sort of what I think of the box in general. And like I say, where I've been over the last years building these guys. So just down here a little bit, pan back a little bit. Okay, basically this first guy here. This is the first Thunder Wolf attempt I made. Um, I was always I've been pleased with the Marine, but the size of the Wolf just never was quite big enough. I just, you know, the head and neck and everything was good, but the body just always left me left behind. And um, like I say, this is one of the first runs on it. And to sort of compensate for the small wolf, I used uh, the body, chest, and arms and stuff from uh, the uh, um, Space Wolf kit, you know, the 10 man kit. Yeah, I just threw in a round shield from a uh, fantasy figure. But uh, everything else is pretty much just that, well, the upper half is that kit um, threw in the, uh, an old school jet pack, or backpack from the uh, original Space Marines back in the 80's plastic boxes to just sort of scale down the size of the Marine a little bit because the newer backpacks are larger also on the legs the legs are the um, same kit of the original plastic Space Marines from the 80's I did it that way to sort of scale down a little bit on the body so it didn't look quite as massive because with the regular legs, I mean, they was hanging clear down, you know, below the waist of the of the, the wolf, so it wasn't looking right. So I went the old school smaller marines and uh, backpacks just to sort of scale down the miniature a little bit. You know, I sort of, you know, I like the little effect, but like I say, the wolf was always too small. So, we scaled him up a little bit and started going with something along these lines. This is, uh, started out as a, uh, um, juggernaut of corn. Um, uh, I originally did, the first one was a, um, the old original metal, big block of lead, and, um, it wasn't too bad, but I've got some pics I might show you of some of, the, of that one here at the end. But then I built this one from the plastic kit. I was, you know, really pleased with this one for its size. Actually, it's you know pretty, pretty, pretty large, which got you know was able to get away with the uh, uh, backpack and uh, legs from the ten man kit. Um, this guy here, if you notice. I've uh, changed the head since I originally built it and used the head from the kit, or from the Space Wolf kit, or the the uh, Thunder Wolf kit, which I think really brought the model back to life, give it a little bit better look. So, yeah, you know, I'm really liking this guy here, and I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and keep him in my army and maybe switch the rider and make it a uh, Kinetis Wolfborn stand in. Which um, I think will work out pretty well by just changing the rider from Van Hammer there and putting Van Hammer on one of one of these wolves. And uh, but this way, you know, you, since this wolf is, is now larger than the box wolves, so it sort of makes sense that this would be Canis on a on a super sized wolf. So that was step. Nice. This is actually step three. There's one step in front of this one. Say if I can 
find the picks and stuff. I'll throw some picks on other the second generation cuts uh, modifications. But uh, like I said, I'm generally pleased with this wolf here. Uh, I actually entered this wolf uh, into the um, single monster category at uh, Games Day last year. Uh, didn't win anything, but uh, the um, guys there seem to like the modification. Just that I need to work a little bit more on my painting to get any um, get up into the, any of the like categories for you know demon winners. But uh, so they like the uh, the mod. So yeah, just pretty proud of this guy here. And. Um, to the box. You say in the box, it's the three wolves. And uh, looking through them, I got yeah, you know, I've seen several reviews here on YouTube about the box. Um, with Jojo, he did an unboxing, and I've got to agree with him. the The poses are really dynamic, and would look, you know, a scenic base would be better. And uh, like I say, here's the one I've been working on. The flat base just isn't quite getting it for me. By um, increasing it to throw some scenic stuff on there, is definitely going to make the miniature pop a lot better. But um, let's see, this miniature here is I've got the wolf pretty much done. Um, it was done with uh, you know basically a two tone uh, with an oil wash. And then highlight it over with uh, the gray. Um, and I really like the way the wolf turned out. Uh, let me adjust the brightness a little bit. The color's a little off. There we go. It's closer to what it would look like in camera, or in real life. You can see the sword. It was just a hack practice job, and I haven't finished the arm, which brings me to that arm. Um, in the kit, like I said, I really like the round shield. You know, you know, like I say, I've been using the round shields for Thunderwolf guys. You know, since you know these guys, I just it made more sense that the Thunderwolf was round when he's carrying the shield. I really, and I really like the shield. Um, put it, put it. I had it right here. Um, hold on just a second, let me find out, I'll be right back. Uh, okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I know if I'm going to make a sh video, I should be prepared. But I wasn't. <laughs> uh, if you notice the shields that come in the box set, you know, this one here, really nice. You know, I like the roundness and the Celtic part of it and the runes and all that sort of stuff. But if you look at the back of them, you get this sort of peg slot. Well, I've went through the sprues, I went through the sprues, and I've yet to find <laughs> an arm that will take that, um, which is, just, here's one of the sprues. If you look at all the arms in the sprue, you got basically arms with cut off hands, Hands with the weapons, you know, cut off arms. And the hands you get are these ones here, which are all holding handfuls of fur, which is nice if you just place it across there, but there's nowhere to mount the shield, which I found you know, kind of you know, hard to figure out what. The, you know, what, how you're supposed to mount them and make them look right. You know, if you just stick them on the back of the hand, it just, you know, you just got a handful of fur on the other side. There's no, like say, you've got an open hole, but that's not the hole that the shield fits in. So that was one of the things I sort of wonder, oh, how about get it in this view where you can see it, what I'm talking about. Just up a little bit. Let's see that. Uh, tell 
I've been out of practice for a while, huh, guys? There we go. See, those don't fit. The handle fit to the bottom of the arm when they got the slot, but there's no place for the for the shield to fit, which is kind of bugging me. That's why I haven't finished this guy here yet. Is I can't figure out the arm. I could just slap it on there, but I don't think it's going to look quite right. So that's sort of stifling me there. But um, you see, I got several of these guys to finish up, and. Um, Eventually will be another Van Hammer in that lot. But um, I generally like the kit. Uh, the models are very dynamic and actioned. Uh, when you build these guys, don't do the mistake I did on this guy here. I built the body, put the legs on, green stuffed in, had, had, had all the body ready to go, and then I went to mount the feet once he was on the base. Big mistake. Basically, when you build these guys, build the feet to the legs, then the legs to the body. Because if you don't, you know, these guys, these legs were very hard to get on. But um, once I got him built, like I say, it was pretty seamless, the joints on the feet, which really surprised me. I figured it'd be, you know, mold lines and joints and stuff. But like I say, he went together pretty well. Ended up, I green stuffed in the neck to make it fill out. Um, like JoJo said, there's a, you know, if you look at these miniatures without green stuff in here, that's a pretty big gap right there. Um, down the bridge of the nose was also green stuffed in because it's, you can see right here where the gap is. I didn't catch because I hadn't entered the ears yet. But uh, on the next one I build, like I say, this was just my prototype for my color scheme and stuff like that. So, when I rebuild the next guy, I know I gotta fix his head. Bring this, you know, gap between the ears down and you know, over the bridge of the eyes with some green stuff. But you can say overall, you know, the profile of the model looks great. You go to the top, you're gonna, you know, if you don't fix this here, it's gonna be noticeable. Also, like JoJo pointed out, is the rump. That there, to me, is just nasty. Um, get a pointer out here. Big old fingers are not in the way. Like this section right in here, whenever you build the model, the tail is separate, which leaves this. You know, next one I build, I'm going to have, this will need to be filled in to, you know, round off the rump a little bit so it looks a lot better. Um, other than that, the model built pretty easy. Uh, the saddle, like they just fell in. I like the, uh, can't really see it here, but there's a um, peg sets underneath the saddle that the rider will peg onto. I really like that idea. Also, the, the uh, legs have a peg that pegs the chest, which is another cool idea because you can set them all together, dry fit him, and then adjust his position on the wolf so that he's connected. You know, where you want to definitely get the legs on before you glue the upper torso to it. So you'll you basically go building your steps. Um, so I, I suggest starting with the feet and the legs, then adding the legs to the body, clean up the joint, add the head to the body, clean up all the joints there, the ones the neck, the head. Um, then I painted the wolf. I then added the saddle, painted the saddle, painted the legs, and then added those to the saddle to where you know, it fit in good. Then painted the chest and added the chest to the legs and pivoted it in to where the arms set right. Like I say, the original arm I had on there I took off, I didn't like because like I say I couldn't figure out how to mount the shield I wanted on him. You know, the shoulder pads you know, you could probably put those on before you, you know, when you painted the chest, if you have the arms where you want them. But like I say, I'm building in steps so that everything fits together well. So when I get the arm painted, attach it, and then attach the shoulder pads last. Um, went ahead and threw the chest on because I knew he'd be looking to this side. So, you know, that was already 
put on the chest before it was added to the to the waist. But um, overall, I'm generally impressed with the miniatures, except for some of the like the tail and the head here. Um, the looks are good, and kind of wish there's more than three in a box. But um, you know, you'll have that. <laughs> um, looking to pick up some more. There will be more purchased. But um, I'd say this is sort of where the Wolves has made it to now. Um, so, like I said, I'm back in the back in the saddle, so to speak, for YouTube and making some vids. I'll have a, another video coming here soon on uh, Phoenician Wolves and one on Arjack. So, stay tuned and I'll have some more coming up. Thanks for watching, guys.